Does cracking your knuckles cause arthritis? What's going on in our tiny little joints? Does it hurt you? What does it do? Hey y'all, Trace here, cracking on for D News. What is the big deal with knuckle cracking? I see it and I hear it all the time, but I have no idea what's going on inside the human body. There wasn't like a magic school bus inside the knuckle when I was growing up. First, some basic biology. Tendons connect muscle to bone. Ligaments connect bone to bone. Your fingers are cool multi-hinge phalanges pulled by tendons connected to muscles in your palm and wrist. The tiny metacarpal finger bones are connected by ligaments to each other, and then the knuckle joints each have a synovial capsule containing synovial fluid. Synovial fluid contains nutrients for the bone and acts as a lubricant, so the bones aren't rubbing together. We wouldn't want that because they would eventually wear down, kind of like sanding wood or erosion. Over time, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and oxygen dissolve into that synovial fluid, and then when you pull your finger back or you turn your spine, you get some cracks. The synovial fluid is stretching, and as its shape changes, the stretch creates negative pressure. To counteract the vacuum, the dissolved gas has to expand rapidly out of solution, creating a bubble. The undissolving of this gas is the knuckle crack. Scientists have attempted to discover why the sound is so loud and have fallen short. They can see the bubble in post-crack x-rays, but other than determining the energy released is 0.1 millijoule per cubic millimeter, they don't know much else. It takes a while for more gas to re-dissolve into the synovial fluid, which is why you can't you can't crack your knuckles right away again. Regardless, cracking your knuckles is not gonna hurt you. The scientists who studied it have no evidence it will damage your fingers at all. Stretching isn't gonna hurt you, as long as you don't overextend your joints. Some research indicates fingers of crackers are more limber than those who refrain from cracking, and if there's pain involved, the cracker might have stretched a ligament or a tendon. There are some studies which claim lowered grip strength and joint stability in habitual long-time knuckle crackers, and a study in the Journal of the American Board of Family Medicine found an inverse correlation between knuckle cracking and osteoarthritis but it wasn't statistically significant, really. The myth of cracking causing arthritis probably comes from swollen arthritic tissues causing similar cracking noises. But arthritis is a whole different thing. There are more than 100 different types of arthritis, and it manifests as swelling of the joints causing pain and stiffness, and can lead to destruction of the tissue inside of that joint. Tissue inflammation is way different from air bubbles. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Are you a knuckle cracker? At this point, we know that I am. Get cracking in the comments, tweet at us, Facebook us, Google plus us, and whatever else. See you later. Thanks for watching.